A potential shortage of fuel as a result of the strike by tanker drivers has been averted. This is because following a meeting on May 23, there has been an agreement to implement the delayed conditions of service framework, which has been at the center of the matter. The framework, among other things, is to improve the living standards of the over 10,000 drivers and mates. George Naonu, who is the national chairman of the union, says the intervention is timely. It has been agreed that the framework that we put in place should be considered and implemented. And I think that is all that we are looking for. So on that case, we need not to punish the nation. Once what we are demanding is being given to us, we need to consider Ghanaians as well. So that's the reason why we call of the strike. He recounted wholesale experiences meted out to him by members who felt leadership was in bed with the MPA as a result of the delay in approving the implementation of the framework. It's good and they should count themselves a lucky. Otherwise, we would have continued to next week, clearly speaking, because enough is enough. You were here, you see the behavior of the, some of the drivers. Even they wanted to beat me. Okay, the thing when I get to authorities, I take money, I take some things from them, which is not true. You get the point. Where I reach now, at least, I don't have. But the little one God gave me, I appreciate. You get the point. So I need to at least assist the ordinary people who are behind us. Okay, when people see you as a senior and they want you to lead them, you have to be fair to them. Yeah, and that is exactly what I have done. Currently, the union is collating information of its members to feed into the database of the National Petroleum Authority for the smooth running of the framework. George Quinning, TV3 News, Tema Heavy Industrial Area.